welcome to Hoyos High School for today's PVIAC Western Mass Class C final game between the Frontier Red Hawks and the Greenfield Green Wave. Participating student athletes, coaches, and contest officials have worked diligently to prepare for today's competition. Please show your appreciation by demonstrating good sportsmanship and respect for all in attendance. Ensure that your behaviors reflect the values that should be identified with these student athletes. Assume responsibility for your behavior and the behavior of those around you. If you require assistance, please call upon a school or security official. Any verbal, written, or physical conduct related to race, gender, ethnicity, disability, sexual orientation, or religion should not be tolerated. Could subject the violator to ejection and may result in penalties being assessed against your team. Now we're going to introduce the visiting team, Greenfield High School. <laughs> Goalie, Ainsley Flynn. Number one, Lilia Kackelmeyer. Number two, Josephine Coutier. Number three, Mackenzie Boswell. Number four, Mackenzie Colleen. Number five, Gloria McDonald. Number six, Cassidy Cloutier. Number seven, Amelia Keeler. Number eight, Laura Stebbins. Number nine, Brielle Wadello. Number 18, Ivy Ray. Number 19, Madeline Hayes. Number 21, Peyton Martin. And number 23, Grace Lori. Now for the home team, Frontier Regional. Number one, Macy DeMeo. Number two, Whitney Campbell. Number five, Leela Roach. Number six, Ashley Taylor. Number nine, Harper Modesto. Number 10, Madison McKemmy. Number 11, Madeline Antes. Number 12, Delaney Fifield. Number 13, Rebecca Wallace West. Number 16, Abigail Grover. Number 18, Ashley Galensky. Number 19, Stella Heflin. Number 22, Haley Hakaski. Number 23, Rowan Riley. Number 24, Emma Graveline. Number 25, Claire Kirkendall. Number 28, Elsa Brown. Number 30, Isabella Orell. Number 31, Brianna Fahey. Number 38, Abigail Shriver. Number 46, Nora Sloan. Number 88, Kira Richards. And in goal, Ella Flanders. Today's officials are James Bouvier, Serena Pisacano, and Brian Leverock. Hello and welcome to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Stacy Chapley, Bobby C. on the on the audio tonight, as well as uh, Alec Eckel filming the game. So we got the Frontier Redhawks versus uh, the Greenfield Green Wave, and it's going to be a great game tonight. We just watched um, me and Bobby watched the Class D uh, Division Champs, where it was Tech versus Pioneer. And Hannah Gilbert scored the winner um, to win it 2-1. to one. And they came back from behind. So now we have the Class C Western Mass Finals. It was, again, uh, Frontier versus Greenfield. So This is, this is like the tenth time in yeah. a row that Greenfield and Frontier have met in the Western Mass uh, Championship Final. You know, the funny thing is, guys, and I know you'll be able to hear me through your set, but what we want to let people know is, is that there hasn't been a lot of goals scored between these two teams either. Big defense. Big defense. Big, yeah, big defense. Hopefully they're going to find the net and they're off. That was a fast start. Yeah, yes. and, and, the, and the thing you see a lot, too, is um, with any sport is defense, it wins championships. That's the one thing you'll see tonight. And we saw in the last game, too. Yeah. And, uh, you know,
both teams are well conditioned, well trained. These coaches are seasoned coaches, and and they've been on they've been on this um, in this arena, both as players and as coaches. Yeah, you got Missy Mahar, Leslie Wickline, and Rose uh, Lavaz. Lavasser. Lavasser for Frontier, and uh, Greenfield's coach is uh, Aaron Thayer. You know what people don't realize is uh, the one thing that makes it fun about this whole thing tonight is that these two teams know each other so well, so there's no hidden secrets in a championship game <laughs> yeah. at all. Right. So um, when they first met this season, we had um, Frontier over Greenfield. And then the second time they played, um, it was a tie. Right. So anything can happen today. And they're on, this time they are on turf. And it's like watching a ballet and watching um, field hockey on turf. It's a, it's a totally different game. So um, ultimate field conditions for great stick play. And the other thing is, is just what you said. The ones that are the experienced players, they're the ones that are going up the field 50, 60 yards with the ball. It's amazing, Stacy. It just... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> they don't get that luxury when they're going through the grass at their school, you know? Yeah. The, the, the one thing I'll mention, too, is um, you can clearly see where they're at because the, the, the football field, like, yard dashes are marked very well, you know? Oh, uh, no, you can see everything. Yeah. 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 And um, the, the field hockey is outlined in the red. And sometimes you kind of get used to seeing the white lines, and so it takes a little bit of um, – You'll see some mistakes here and there um, based on getting used to um, that, that natural instinct of where the line is. The other thing I noticed too, guys, is I've also noticed that each team on the other game as well is they have been able to move the ball. Both teams have been able to move the ball all the way across this big field. Problem is, is once they start getting around the 10 yard line, it's a little bit tougher to be able to move the ball after that. Yeah. Um, and one, one thing as well is, is, you know, as well, Frontier and Greenfield, we're, we're, they're, we're neighboring schools and a lot of these players are friends, you know. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> it's yeah, they've met up in the off season doing clinics and, oh, we have a corner. Yeah, the first, first corner of the game. See, the corners were dominated in that last game by the Franklin County Tech. Even though they were down by a goal in that game against Pioneer, they were able to really dominate, and that's how they were able to win with the way that they were playing the corners. We should see who gets the domination on this game on who's going to dominate quarter, corners. And, and you got to be very fast. You know, at that fast line, you see those players sprinting back to get on defense. Yeah. So Greenfield held their defense there. Oh, we have a foot. So as fast as you, you see, the ball just changes direction. Unbelievable, especially these two teams. And that was a foot on Frontier. Yeah, and they're just raising down that sideline too. The right side is always going to be your strongest side because you can only use the – that side of the stick. of the stick, you can't use the reverse side of the stick. That's unlike right. ice hockey, yeah. where they'll dribble, that, you know, both sides. I find that amazing too, because it's, I feel like I would always want to be, you know, kind of like move the ball, you know, like and like hockey, you know, like right. you, you want to be able to move it how you want to, and using only one side is challenging almost. Well, you know, it, what's really interesting is um, Lila Roach, who is the center midi for Frontier. She also plays ice hockey. She's, yeah. she's a heck of an ice hockey player. Yeah. And, you know, and so just that natural ability to be able to switch from ice hockey to field hockey where you can only use one side, you know, like that muscle memory depending on what season or what sport she's playing. Now, does she, does she play for the Pope Francis team yes. down there in Springfield? Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's a good team. <laughs> and, the, and the thing is, is her uh, her older brother Aiden, who graduated my class, uh, he he played ice hockey for Green Wave, so which is a co-op Greenfield and <laughs> Frontier team. So yeah. <laughs> that's that's when they uh, they won that that championship. There's a nice switch of the fields. Uh, Greenfield taking it from the weak side, the left side, over to the right side yeah. with nice passing. Yeah. I mean, pretty much right now, we've been been playing in the middle of the field. That's true. 
because of the length of the whole side of how that's way out the other end to be out of yeah. So yeah, they're pretty much playing on the inside of the hash mark. They're inside of the hash mark all the way to the, so when you're looking at the camera and you're a fan watching right now, you see the purple on the outside. It's almost that's where the out of bounds is and all the hash marks are all in the middle. So yeah. Yeah, because it's it's like offset. It's it's not equally <laughs> put. Correct. Um, so right now we see Frontier trying to get it into the into the into the circle, and we have another corner. It looks like a foot. And it's going to be uh, n number nine, um, Harper Modesto taking the corner for the Hawks. I think. Yeah, we're we're lucky we're in the inside the booth right now. Poor <laughs> Alex getting drenched <laughs> recording the game. This is probably one of the warmest Western Mass playoffs <laughs> yeah. <games> we've had. <laughs> you, you, in the past, I've been on the field with the coaches and in like six layers yeah. with hand warmers and feet warmers. And I, mean, I thank the directors when I first came in. I thank them from the bottom of my heart. I said because my last experience here was when we ended up doing the Super Bowl for Frontier and they played Wakona. Me and Chris Collins both caught pneumonia. Oh. We were so sick. It was oh. awful. Yeah. yeah. I thank them dearly for mm -hmm. today and for us to be inside. <laughs> I'm wearing the shorts and the T-shirts, and I'm honestly warm in here, you know. <laughs> Yep. Well, you, 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 you're a few decades younger than Bobby and I. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, just, just, a, just a couple. Yeah, I lost my padding. <laughs> I lost my padding. That's a good thing. Yes. That's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, and one, one thing I, I've noticed a little bit, too, is Frontier, they're doing a great job of trying to spread out and make those, to make those passes. Yeah, that's a nice move right there. They've had some really good moves on all these teams that I've seen. You know, Pioneer X girls that were making good moves. Greenfield's had good moves, Frontier's had good moves, and also the Tech. I mean, these teams, they could see why they're here for a championship. They're really yeah. good. These, and, and these teams are good. It was Lyle Roach trying to get it over to the Harper Modesto there. Um, and now Greenfield, they're going to uh, have an insert, which is Amelia Keeler. And Lyle Roach just takes it away from him, gets it up to Ashley Taylor. And now it's Greenfield ball. Well, you know, um, I'm just I'm just quickly looking down, just you know, looking at the roster because um, Frontier only has three seniors. Yeah. And we have starting freshmen, starting eighth eighth graders out there. Hopper Modesto, I think, is is the youngest. Yep. With many many freshmen out there, and just quickly, um, it's looking like Greenfield has quite a few sophomores. Yeah. A few freshmen. A few seniors here. Oh. On the, on the, uh, Greenfield starting lineup, they had they have four uh, four seniors um, so. to Frontiers three. Yeah. But I noticed this, though, Stacy. I noticed that Frontiers roster they have a lot more girls than Greenfield has. Yeah. Yeah. And and I think that's also to do with Frontier just being almost a bigger school. You know, for every sport I've I've kind of watched, you know, them versus Southwick, uh, they had one or two subs. And that, or three subs, and that's it. Frontier has a whole, you know, bench over there. You can you can just tell them if, if somebody gets injured, somebody will. So that was a dangerous. It looked like they were trying to to um, trying um, to do an uh, an aerial, trying to get it in over. And there is very key rules to how it can fall, how far away from the player it can fall, and they called that a dangerous. They did. And, now, let me ask you this, Stacey, because you're very familiar with this, with what you've done in college and all that, but um, isn't, like, when there's a hit, if you hold your stick and the stick is level, it stays level, and it's not way up high, and it just hits your stick, it's not any kind of a penalty, right? Right, right. You, you, can, you can knock it down with your yeah. stick. Okay. Um, you can actually air dribble. We haven't seen much air dribbling. Um, yeah, I haven't seen any, so. Um, the, I'm trying to think. The, the night game, the Minichog game frontier played there was one brief air dribble on the far side of the field so quickly yeah oh yeah, yeah. Tom, it's tom, a, yeah, tom, yeah tom is showing us with his hands <laughs> you, you can't see it but yeah where you bounce the ball on the on the tip of your of the stick and then you can um move forward and it's it, it it's a really nice offensive move 
um, because it's tricky to defend against. Yeah, and Frontier just right there, they had great defense. I mean, yeah, defense great. is what these two teams have. They have great defense, guys. Yep, and um, there you go. Like that, Frontier's on the attack again. And yep. Oh, we have a foot. So. By the way, I want to give credit where credit's due. They ended up showing um, how the two highest scorers of each team were for this division. And I will say that uh, Lily kackelmeyer has got 20 on the year. And Ashley Taylor ends up with eight for Frontier. So a couple of big numbers there for those two players. Ooh, ooh. What a play. Almost. There's shot on goal. Was able to... Knock it out. Greenfield goalie knocked it out, and I believe that. Yep, yeah, they're starting up at the twenty yard, li twenty five yard line. And, and uh, one one thing I know is because uh, I'm looking at the rosters, and I see, you know, uh, Mackenzie Paul, and she's I I watched over the summer. She pitched an almost a no hitter into the seventh inning. So there's these players, you know, Ashley Taylor. It was them them two for the pitchers. So it's just interesting to see them out uh, on the field hockey field. Yeah. Well, there's something to be said about being a, th a two- or three-season sport athlete and to really round out um, with a lot of the uh, younger players where they just, they just play one sport all year round. You see more and more um, injuries. With soccer players, you're seeing a lot of ACL issues. Volleyball players that are playing year-round, you're seeing rotator cup issues. Um, and so there is something to be said about being a two or three season right. athlete. You know, we're just talking about Peter Bergeron from Greenfield, you know, professional baseball player. He, he never wanted to play basketball. He wanted to be able to just do baseball, football, but he knew that he had to keep in shape during that off season. So he just played basketball just to keep himself in shape. Yeah. That, uh, and, and somebody who like Peter Carey, my class, you know, he, He's at Syracuse now playing basketball, and one thing he did was cross country and track to keep in shape. You know, that's that's one thing you got to do. Yeah. And for me, it was like I did cross country track, basketball, and I loved playing basketball, especially with my mom as the coach. You know, yeah, yeah. and um, baseball in the summer. Yeah. Well, I can go way back to Tom Glavin. <laughs> Went to high school with Tom Glavin, and so he played hockey. He was drafted out of high school in hockey ice uh, for the NHL, um, and then. So he did hockey and he did uh, baseball. And he decided to do like Peter did, where Peter honestly probably was a better football player because of his speed. He could have been a guy returning punts or something, you know, but he went to baseball. But the bottom line is he had a choice of going one or two. Look at what Tom Glavin did. Hey, made the Atlanta Braves proud for many years for sure. So uh, we have a corner. It's so green, yeah. the advantage now is Greenfield's offense. Um, and... Lila Roach is usually the defensive leader. She, she's going to be the one that's going to come out to wherever the first pass goes to. Um, so we'll see how they're going to set this up. Yeah, this is Greenfield. I'm pretty sure their first Second. corner of the night. So Ooh. that was nice a stop. That was a great defensive. Play yeah, that by that was. Uh, I think Kaylee Hadowski. I know she plays basketball. So she's good. <laughs> but, uh, she improved as the year went on. This last year, she really improved. Haley did a really nice job improving by the end of the basketball season. I'll tell you right now, Frontier basketball is going to be pretty decent this year. They got a good group of girls coming back. Yeah, and they, and, they really do. And uh, to the other, the boys team. I know uh, Ben Barshevsky, He stepped down, so uh, it's going to be Josh Morris as the head coach. I just got news today. There that's, you go. That's, that's <laughs> brand new news to us. Yeah. I, I'm I'm pretty sure. Don't don't call me on that, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I, I, Josh Morris is I, – I was watching those JV games, and they were just killing teams. So, you know, we'll see what that's on the varsity level. I'm excited for the basketball season. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be, I'll be behind the concession stands for the <laughs> boys' basketball game. <laughs> and hopefully I'll be on a mic just like Tom. We'll be coming to the school and doing the games. You know, for years it was always Chris and Jeff, and uh, when Chris left because of the situation, it ended up uh, being me to come in and fill in ever since. But, hey, look at this. After one, what do you think the score is, folks? 0-0. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> 
So, uh, yeah, th after the, f the first quarter, I mean, you, the big takeaways is they kept it, you know, Frontier and Greenfield in the middle of the field. I mean, y they're trying to get a chance for their teams, and those corners are the big, big takeaways. Yeah. And, you know, the corners, um, we would say every, every corner is a goal because the um, offense does have the advantage with only four defenders. Um, offense can have as many people up on that line as they want. Um, and then – it's it but it has to be those good passes it has to be quick it has to be clean and it has to be on target and we've seen it hopefully they'll execute it the way we we've seen it you know the one thing i love about this rivalry and the one thing that's been making it nice for me is to be able to see two coaches who are absolutely fantastic with their girls to be able to get the best out of them. I mean, you look at, like you said, you know, you look at a lot of these middle school kids, they're coming up and they're being able to play varsity. You know, in our old days, there was enough kids in a school that there was a middle school team for field hockey. Yeah. It's not like that anymore, Stace. Yeah. You know? No, um, this year is the first year um, we, Frontier doesn't have a uh, middle school team because there's no middle school teams to play. That was a we, problem. We could have a middle school team, but we have there. My understanding is there. There's not enough public schools out there, and then the private schools you have to travel quite a ways. That's the only problem is the prep schools are the ones that you can take as independents. And if you look at some of these middle school programs like football, like this middle school team that's up at Mohawk this year with no varsity program, they're, they're playing yeah. prep school type teams. Yeah. They're playing like Eagle Brook and, and yep. those type of teams yep. because they have nobody else to play. There's right. not enough schools to be able to right. have enough kids. Well, I mean, Massachusetts in general is, is, is a shrinking population. And with the shrinking population, you have a shrinking youngsters, youngsters being able to play. Right. Yep, it's really taken a hit, right. you know. So, All right, second quarter action here. So just to recap, in the first quarter, uh, Frontier Regional had two corners and two saves. Greenfield had one corner. Um, and, oh, let me get that. Let me put that <laughs> shots yeah. on goal. Frontier had two shots on goals where Greenfield had the saves. Had the saves, that's right. Yep. My oh, nice move. Oh, couldn't get it to Boswell. Did you get a chance to see any of the uh, game before, or did you get here a little bit late? I got here a little bit on the later side. They just yeah. started their, um, I call it sudden death, but I was like, right. sudden win. Sudden win. That's right. right. Sudden, sudden win. Sudden, sudden, sudden victory. Sudden, that's what we're I, I like that. <laughs> sudden victory. Oh, well, two girls just went down. Not getting up very yeah. fast either. So that's up. Uh, uh, so that's against uh, Greenfield. Greenfield went down first, and Ooh, we have a timeout time on the out. field for injury. Yep. Yeah, injury right there on the. Yeah, yeah. I, she went down and she hasn't gotten up. Yeah, she went down really hard. There was, she went down and then took down a Frontier player, it, yeah. and and me catching what I saw. Um. She, so she is up and coming off the field. If they yeah. if they call time, you gotta you gotta come off. You gotta come off. Yeah, and she's sort of gimpy as she's coming off. You can see her leg a little yeah. bit. You know, the other thing they have to remember though, you don't have the grass to be able to uh, sort of let you slide. Sometimes when you get stuck on the turf, that's where you get those injuries. You yeah. know. So you know, one of the things we try and do um, when they come off the field, especially if they have any rashes, is is we want to clean that right away. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, Sometimes the kids will be like, no, 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 no. Oh, we had a foot on Frontier on that one. Um, but, you know, you, you got to stay on top of it. Ooh, nice steal by Frontier. Uh, another foot by Greenfield. So right now Frontier's on the attack. They sure are. But once you get in that 10-yard line, boy, it gets a little harder to try to be able to get any balls to go through people. Right. Oh, nice, nice job right there defensively by Greenfield to knock that one out. Ooh, that was a nice steal by Greenfield. Uh, yeah, well, now that we've had some some rain, although it looks like it stopped raining because I'm seeing the umbrellas are down now. Yeah. But that turf is going to be slippery. You know, Brian Lapis said that it was going to be around midnight for the rain. Well, Not, we're going to have to tell yeah, Brian. He's, he's off. Yeah. <laughs> 
I mean, we've, we've been out here in snow, um, pouring ice, rain, you name it. I know. And, and they don't complain. These, these student athletes do not complain. Well, their their adrenaline's kicking in because they're in a big time moment when they come to play in this type of a game. You know, their their adrenaline is just. It's the parents that are suffering, not the kids. <laughs> they're the ones sitting in the stands. <laughs> but we got a nice crowd, really good crowd here tonight. Yes. This is this is well attended. That's great. Yes. We got both. I mean, it's a nice, easy drive down 91 for both the Greenfield and the Frontier fans. So. And it's a very easy place to find. It really is. This is an easy field to find for yes. sure. I was happy to get here. I got a parking spot. Good, <laughs> good. That parking lot can fill up really quick. I parked over <laughs> over that way, and you have to kind of follow. There's a path oh, okay. coming up out of the dark over to the right of the field here. Yeah. But... It's funny because when I dropped my mom off, because uh, Kendra played in the first game for the Tech, um, they were wonderful. They ended up helping her bring her chair in and everything. The ladies were awesome yeah. at the front gate. Yeah. So look, uh, Greenfield's on the attack at the moment. And a as fast as you can say it, it changes possession. Well, that's why I was telling people that when you announce field hockey, you sort of just sort of go with the flow and you let the camera do its thing. And then you can just sort of, if something gets exciting where they're getting close to the net or something or a corner, that's when you can really bring in the excitement, you know? So, oop. Oh, off oh. the frontier. Yep. Yeah. Just, just, just a slight move. Looks like Macy just came off with Stella Heflin going in, and Rebecca uh, Rebecca Wild <laughs> Rebecca West <laughs> Wallace, Wallace West Wallace West Yeah the Wild West the Wild West going over that far corner to grab it Oh they, no that was Ooh. a that's a corner that's a corner yeah. Let's see if they can capitalize. So Ashley's inserting the ball for Frontier. Over to her right. Straight on. Ooh. Greenfield was there to really interfere. Another corner. Yep. That's two corners in a row. You could tell when the Frontier team is getting their corners because the fans are really, really stepping up their enthusiasm, knowing that they have a chance to score. And it's nice on this field because you can definitely see that, that red circle where that ball has to come out of the red circle, then back in before they can shoot on net during a corner. Yep, exactly. So it looks like Lila might be inserting over to the left on two. We got at least two saves there by, by the Greenfield goalie. Yeah, she's really good. Ainsley Flynn is a very good goalie for Greenfield. And Ella Flanders is very good, too, for yeah, so Frontier. And, of course, Ella's, Ella's in her senior year now yeah. and as the goalkeeper for and the Red Hawks. And Ainsley's a junior, so there's another yep. year for Ainsley. Yep. Greenfield able to get control of the ball, bringing it up over to the 40. Good pass. It's going to stay with Greenfield. I had a glare. I didn't quite catch the call. Yeah, they. Uh, other, other than I saw the call, but I yeah. didn't see what what happened. Now that's called utilizing the whole field right there by Greenfield. Yep. Ooh. Greenfield with the score and a beautiful pass inside. Flanders wasn't even nearby. That was a beautiful shot by Greenfield. All right. Boy, boy that was a nice corner. And they even took it all the way back, like I told you, Stacy. Went all the way back to the, you know, for the, the offensive player to move it in. Yeah, it looked like it came off of Ella's uh, pads and, and, um, We'll find out shortly who who made the score because the 
the numbers on their te on their shirts are really dark for me to see, but it, it looked like it bounced back. She was able. She was right there. Had her, got her stick on it and put it in as Ella was on the. Um, left side of her goal. Well, yeah, that's exactly what she was. She was on the left side of the goal, and the defender was behind her. So uh, Ivy Ray made the goal with the assist coming from Mackenzie Boswell. So Ivy Ray and Mackenzie Boswell with the assist. Gets Greenfield on the board first, which doesn't mean nothing in this rivalry, I'll tell you. So Fr Frontier really needs to, to um, put on that offensive movement. They have been down here They've, on the goal. I'll be honest with you. If you really think about it, I think that most of the domination in this game so far has been by Frontier. They're just down a goal right now. And that was because, like you said, it was off the pad of Flanders when she was on the left side of the goal, and there was, there was a person that was right there, and that was Ray behind her, and she was able to get the deflect, and that's how she put it in. Yeah. That's exactly what happened. Unfortunately, we don't have instant replay. No. <laughs> No, we don't. <laughs> that, that just went wide. Yeah. So that um, Frontier will bring that up to the 25, and s or excuse me, to the top of the circle and start from there. And out of bounds on Greenfield, so Frontier's going to take it. I'm telling you, Frontier's been, they've had the possession for most of this game. They've had most of the possession time. Yeah. Oh, right through the leg of the Greenfield defender. Ooh. Just a, a lot of nice movement yeah. happening. Nice pass. Yep. Two Greenfield defenders, though, right there. Oh, Ooh, they give the call to um, Greenfield. Greenfield's going to do their self-start. Looks like Ashley's on trying to f keep the numbers straight. You start to learn, like if you watch them all the time, you start to learn their body movements. The, you know how their hair is, how they wear their goggles, and you can right, identify right. them that way. Yeah, <laughs> but I'll tell you, way up here, it's really hard to see those numbers. It really is on some of the girls. Yeah. But so it looks like Rebecca Wallace West is catching a breather, and Macy DeMeo is back in for the for a forward. Yep. It's uh, out on Frontier, I believe. Yep. So they're gonna. So Greenfield will um, start at the 25. All right. Oop. So that was Frontier was able to steal that, and there was a foot along the way. So looks like Lila Roach. Center midfielder, you get, you know, yet center midfield is is such a hard position because you need to play both offense and defense. Yep. And I'm gonna have to watch again when, when they set up after halftime. Frontier is playing a three-three-three-one, so they have three forwards, three midfielders, three defense, and a sweeper, and that's, then a goalie. That's not a bad setup by Maher to have Missy do that. That's that's worked out pretty good. It, it has because it, it, it helps you um, with where your strength is. Right, exactly. And, 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 and being defensive. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to watch again when we see uh, Greenfield set up because the 4-3-2-1 one, one is is also a very common um, starting. Right. You have four forwards, three midfielders, two defense, and then the sweeper. Yep. 
So it looks like Ashley just Ashley Taylor just came out. Good defense in the middle right there by Frontier to be able to knock that ball out. Yeah. The nice thing is 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 uh, Missy can can rotate and give some a little bit of rest, get some fresh legs in on the field. Um, and it looks like Greenfield really only has two subs. That's it. That's what I'm saying. There's a huge difference. That's a nice that's a nice hit. That's a move it. Frontier's moving it moving it up. Greenfield's challenging and went and wins the challenge. Yeah, that was a good job right there to be able to take on that offensive player in the middle of the field. So the, the best thing is just keeping your stick on the ground and not slashing at it. Yeah. I notice a lot of the ladies will put their full stick down on the ground. Is that because they know it's, a, it's an easier play, easier to stop because you only have the beginning of your yeah. stick. It's just so much yeah. easier. So you'll see girls literally bend right down and they'll put their stick on the ground to yep. stop a play. Yep. Ball went way out of bounds. Yeah. In the past, they usually would have um, people with balls close by. Yeah. But it seems like we don't have it this time. You know the old saying, don't you, Stacy? Hard to find good help. Yeah. <laughs> Especially in this market. Yeah, exactly. So that ball just went up and over a green field. So considered dangerous. Pass straight to Greenfield. Greenfield's going to take advantage of it. A little trip right there on Kacklemeyer, so they'll get the ball back, Greenfield. Looks like she'll take it. Some nice stick handling going on. You can really do some great stick handling on this field. Yeah, you can. There's Greenfield, a good move. Greenfield's going in. And we have a corner. Oh, we got a corner now. Greenfield has that opportunity now. Greenfield hasn't had many corners. And honestly, Frontier hasn't really had much going on this quarter. They really dominated that first quarter, but yeah. it's been pretty much dominated by Greenfield here in the yeah. second. Less than a minute left here in the half. Going ooh, all the way over to the far right. Back. And oh, that was a dangerous. Yeah, shot. because her, because her stick went so high. Her stick went not so much that her stick went so high she didn't make contact with the she ball. She didn't make contact with if the ball. Okay. She made contact with the ball, she would have been fine. Okay, because I noticed that stick went way up high, too. So, Oh, they missed the ball on that one. Greenfield just missed an opportunity. Frontier got a chance to move the ball, but there's not much time left here. Only 20 seconds left, Stacy, here in the first half. So they're going to have to find a way to get this done in a quick amount of time. Yeah. And it looks like Greenfield's defense has done a nice job in this quarter. Yeah. Well, we have a foot... Yep. Frontier advantage right now as they're moving up. They have four seconds. One shot, and they're not going to have time. That's nope, it. There it is. So there's the first half. All right, well, we're going to take a break here. We'll come back with second half action. We can tell you right now that Greenfield is holding a one nothing lead. Stacy Chapley, Bobby C., and we got Tom Albert with us as well. And thank you to the Ekman for being able to do all the camera work here on the FCAT. We'll be back with second half action coming up here on Frontier Community Access Television. All right, welcome back here to Holyoke High School, our Class C championship game here between Greenfield and Frontier. The one thing that I have noticed in this game right here is, is that both teams are very, very athletic. And that's one thing that you can see in games is you can tell which teams are very athletic and which aren't. And that's because the ball movement hasn't really gone where you're seeing people march up the field 50, 60 yards like you might have saw in that last game. I mean, some of the girls were able to get away with that. But in something like this where these two teams match up so well, you're not seeing someone march up the field 50 yards with the ball. It's not happening, Stacy. No, so you're actually seeing the you know, like the team move as a unit. Yes, and, exactly. And you know it can come down to, especially in that last quarter with the last five minutes, um, who is who is the best conditioned team? And I'll tell you, both coaches are very good at conditioning these teams. So it looks like so we got um, we got a two four. 
two one one going for Frontier and three three one. Yep. Yep. See, you're learning real quick. Yes. <laughs> I, I was paying attention when you talked about that, so yes. I'm a quick learner. I just have to just sort of know a little bit more about the game, and I've learned more about this game only because of my niece being able to play, and I've gone to a lot of her games. So, Well, um, I, was, I was talking with Tom earlier that um, Leslie Wickline played goalie for Frontier yep. and then out of school has been, co been an assistant coach, JV coach, for over 30 years. And there were times on the field I would look at her and she would look at me and I'd go, what, 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 what was that whistle for? And she'd go, oh, I don't know. You know, like even, yeah. I mean, it's, it, and fans complain. It's, you know, there's so many whistles, but um, it's a constantly moving game. It sure is. And you think about it, as soon as they, this is what people don't realize is that they, you don't have to wait for the ref to go put the ball down. They can just start, you know, and that's what people don't realize. So some of these girls, like right now, grab the ball. You don't have to wait for a ref, like in hoop, you know, and there it is. They're back at it again. Right, right. You know, they're just, you're going to see, they're going to take a quick look up and, and see in, where their arm is, is, is pointing. So who's going to have the possession? Because sometimes, you know, it can, you have two players right side by side, and you're not quite sure how the, the ref saw who, who tapped it out. Right, exactly. So, ooh, so Frontier was able to get down, um, but that the shot went short. Or yeah, it, it was <laughs> wide and short. Oh, it was short and wide. Yeah, exactly. It was short and wide. But now Greenfield has the ball, but if they play good defense, Frontier can get that ball right back here on their end. Yeah. And that was a good steal almost. They almost had it. Rebecca, Rebecca's got her stick on it, trying to bring it around, yeah. center it. Nice, nice dish to the side to a, an open player. Yeah. And we got enough. Ooh. There's just like. Ooh. I know, I know. It's, it's getting a little more intense. Good, <laughs> good. But good start right there by Frontier. They've really been able to get back into where that dominance was in that first quarter. It's uh, not quite the same now. I mean, they're struggling a little bit more. Uh, they struggled more in that second quarter, but this quarter they've done really well. So Frontier has pretty much dominated the first few minutes of this third quarter. And we got a corner. Yeah, and you got the Frontier fans saying, let's go. You know, it's funny because I'm, um, I'm, I'm watching Carl Sear, and he's like one end to the other here running around the field here. The athletic director. <laughs> So it looks like Lila's inserting to nice the outside, dish. bringing it back in. They're going to bring it around the front. Shot on goal. Good defense by Greenfield right there. Yeah. They were able to have two of the girls that were right there. What a nice hit. Right. Oh, and that got by the defender of Frontier, giving Greenfield the chance to try to steal that ball back, and they have the chance to do it, and they didn't out of bounds. So that'll be... Oh, frontier, frontier ball. ball. Yep. Off of Greenfield. So that you can see that how they're resetting themselves. Delane, Delaney um, Fifield, number 12, the sweeper. Yep. This is her first year playing. Um, she, she played, um, she was on the football team. Oh. Up until last year. All right. So she switched to. Um, so her and the Lewis team. girl both played uh, on football? Yep. All right. Yep. Good job Lila. right there. Keep moving the ball. And out of bounds. Out of bounds. Honestly, it went in the net, but wrong one. <laughs> that net don't count. No, no. Nope. <laughs> nope. Wrong color ball. It's not That's very true. Very true. Not the right side. No. Nope. So. And I, I wouldn't want to do head shots uh, with the ball they're using right now on that field. Let me just yeah. tell you that. <laughs> no. Greenfield working it up. On the left side of their field. Yeah, their they, left side. Yeah, they've utilized they're really that. You notice that they've done a lot on that side of the field, Greenfield? They've taken advantage of that side of the field. So a lot of times, with, whoop, something's happened. Not sure what. Somebody get a card? Yeah, someone is getting a card. So 
whoever they're going to put the card to is going to come <coughs> off the field <coughs> and most likely a two-minute penalty. But I'm not... So who is getting the card? He's going over to Bolt. He went over to the Frontier coach. He's talking with Missy Phillips. And it looks like... Is it that girl right there? I'm not From sure. Greenfield? I'm not sure. This, so this is an official right down here. Yeah. With, and... Um, let me let me see if I can. Okay, great. Wonder if it's that Greenfield girl right there, and she's catching her breath because she got herself in. And coach, yep, because coach there is talking to her right now. But I'm not sure of the infraction. Yeah. Oh, an illegal substitution card. Okay, so. Oh, wow, an illegal substitution. Have you, you, you don't normally hear stuff like that usually, right? Right, so um, when you're doing a substitution, the player has, coming off the field has to come over that line before the um, in person going in for them can go in. Okay. So yeah. most likely the person going in took a step or two too soon before the person came off the field. Um, so I'm not... So we have the card, um, but it does. It, it's it's there isn't anybody like going to the penalty box kind of thing. Right, like right, happening. exactly. But if it happens again, you might see where a player is going to have to sit. Yeah. I think the one who's on the sidelines for Greenfield that's walking back and forth. I think she might have got herself injured or something because yeah. she's she's trying to walk it off, and then she'll turn around. And then she'll start walking back toward the team. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're trying. We're being up here. I feel like we're separated. Yeah. From, well, from, there's a huge the difference. Yeah. There really is. There's a huge difference. We're between. comfortable. Oh yeah. We're not getting rained on. No. And the one thing that's been nice about tonight's weather for the fans is that there's not a lot of wind out there tonight, Stacy, either, because we know what happens when it cools down with the wind in New England. Oh, it's the worst. Yeah. All right. So the another looks like another foot on Frontier. So Greenfield's going to start. Do a self start. That's a nice. Th there's no one there, but that was a nice yeah. hit. Right. And you really want to pass with a purpose. You right. want to make sure that you're passing to somebody. Yep. So oh, that was drilled. That was a trip. Yep. <laughs> oh. So, oh. so it was a touch on a, an infraction against Frontier. Yep. Okay. And that was off Frontier, so Greenfield will get the ball oh, back oh, here. Oh, they're calling their Frontier ball. All right. Oh, somebody must have. Oh, because so. they moved it. They moved it right out yeah. to the edge there. Yeah. So, oh, oh, they missed to get it. it dry, yeah, they missed it. The, yeah. Get down on that ball. Still looks like it might be a little slippery out there. Looks like Claire Kirkendall just gave it a nice strong um, push yeah. pass. That's going to be off. But Greenfield, Greenfield is moving to the ball. And they are huge. Yep. I noticed that Coach Mahar is really preaching out there to the girls. She's like really, you she, can see how vocal she's being with them. Yeah, she's very talkative. From and, the she's point, and she's pointing the different things yeah. that's going on. Yeah. So, that's, that's, so she's out there coaching it up right now. Yeah, and, and that's her style. Yeah. That's her style. You know, they might be marking up one, you know. Um, you, let's see, you said... Uh, uh, Lilia. Lily Kacklemeyer, yep. That's 20 goals. So yeah. there's, there's a good chance that, you know, she's having someone play one on one with, with, uh, with her. Yep. To try and slow her down. Don't blame her. That's, you know, just like in any sport, you want to try to contain their best player. Right. I mean, that's what everyone wants to right. do if you can do it, you know? Right. And I think Frontier's got the talent where they can do that. And it's proven so far because I haven't really seen Lily do much at all, really. Right. You know, 
it comes back down to the stamina. Yeah. And, you know, having, you know, how deep is your bench so that people can, can get that, that rest. There's Lila Roach going up the, up the right-hand side. And green, oop. As fast as you want to call it, it's, it's changing possessions. It's so fast. <laughs> it really is. It's like by the time you get it out of your mouth, it's already starting with the other teams already moved the ball already. Right. right. But like right now. It's, it's that quick, you know. See, they already got the ball, and they've already hit it. Nice intercept there. Now, there's an open opportunity right there if there was someone there for Frontier, but Greenfield was right there to make yeah. that play. Yeah. You really you really want to make sure um, that when you're making those passes that there's someone there to receive it. Exactly. You exactly. And, and up here, we can't hear how well they're talking on the field because mm -hmm. they really need to have um, that constant chatter. Um, so that way, if you're carrying the ball – you can hear someone saying, you know, through or flat. So do I pass it flat? Do I pass it through? They're on my left-hand side. They're on my right-hand side in order to um, keep that talk. And if you can do the give and goes, that's going to make a huge difference in penetrating up the field and, and into, the, into the, um, the circle to get the, sh the shot off on goal. Yep. Well, I'll tell you, the one thing that's been nice is that I've been able to learn a couple of different sports over the last couple of years and with doing watching a lot more field hockey and really digging frontier volleyball. I'm sorry, I am a Ooh, that got him right in the face. Yeah, got a, got underneath that ball, gave yeah, it a little lift. Yeah, gave that it a little a lift. Dangerous. Yeah, that was a dangerous, right, right. Oh yeah. But uh coach McDonald he pulls it off again. I mean, let's talk about this for one second while we have a quick chance while the game's going on here. How do you win 17 straight Western Mass championships? How do you do it? It has to be good coaching, period. Because you don't just have 17 straight years of great talent every year to win Western Mass like Coach McDonald has they, been able they to work, do. They work. Those, those girls work hard, and they, a lot of them play year-round. They do, yeah. They play year-round. They play travel league. They play summer. They, um, uh, they, uh, they do... Um, plyos oh um so you know they they have a mixed routine and it's so fun to watch and so they're the, so the fun feeding, to watch. the feeding program you know that they start them um in the in middle school and so there, there's a strong reservoir of of players and look what they've done every year where's the pressure the pressure is like are we going to be the first team in whatever that's going to lose a western mass championship i mean is there seems like there's high expectations i don't know what you feel about it but i think there's high expectations on those kids well, well part of it is is they don't want to be the team that loses it that's right exactly so, so there is a lot of pressure yes we have another corner for frontier i know frontier they need they they really need to capitalize on this one right now they got a chance to be able to tie this game up if they can be able to get a decent shot but greenfield's defenders have really done a decent job at being able to contain in in that 10 yard area Nice shot. Ooh, and That's a, a beautiful shot right there. Frontier gets a stick on it. Well, that was a beautiful play right there by the Frontier Lady Hawks. That was beautiful. Well, there was a lot of action going on. I know. That so. was great. So we, we can see they're asking who, who, you know, who got the goal. Yeah. Cause, and they'll radio up and we'll, we'll find out shortly tell you right now that was a beautiful play right there i mean there was three lady Rock hawks that were right there right by ainsley flynn and they were able to poke that right in that was beautifully executed it sure was so right now frontier has the momentum we have a tied game one one third quarter with 210 left and the fans from frontier are stepping up their enthusiasm here yeah. after that big goal So, yeah, they're Frontier, getting pumped. Frontier has that. So Ashley Taylor got the goal with an assist from number five, Lila Roach. Excellent. Come on, Frontier, let's go. Let's go, Hey, we got the goal. 
goal scored by number six, Ashley Taylor. She doesn't realize how famous she is when she opens the mic over there because it gets the crowd pumped. <laughs> <laughs> you are. You got the power of voice. It gets everybody going. That's right. So Frontier's uh, currently on the attack again. So there's our point about the uh, two top scorers, one for each team, was yep. Kacklemeyer and... And there's another goal. Oh! So it looked like uh, Rebecca Wallace-West... And assisted by Ashley. Wow, that was quick. Two quick goals. So we'll we'll wait for the confirmation. Okay. So now there's. Oh, here we go again. Right. Missed it. Missed it. Got a piece of it, but oh, we have a corner. So we have a, sh a shot on goal, and then not quite sure what, what, but Frontier has the corner. Now will they play out? They'll play out the court. They play out the corners, but once it gets defended, they end the quarter. Correct. So yeah. So I saw that in the, in the last game. Right. I saw that. So yep. All of Frontier wants to keep it in the circle. Once Correct. it breaks the circle and comes out, then uh, get the quarter's over. Yeah. So we got shot. Two shots on goal. And Frontier's trying to keep it in. And that's... That's the quarter. That's a quarter. All right. So there was t another two shots on goal. So there wasn't, there wasn't another goal, though. No. No. So they just had yeah. the corners and that's it. But boy, the enthusiasm really changed in that third quarter. So let's look at it this way. The first quarter was dominated by Frontier. Second quarter was dominated by Greenfield. And I would say Frontier dominated this third quarter. So well, I, I want to say they, they dominated, like probably the, it was pretty evenly matched. And then all of a sudden, this, the last, what, four minutes? Yeah. Frontier came on hard and strong. They really did. And now they got that momentum going into the final quarter here. Right. So, right. so if they can if they can keep that up and oh, good. Yeah, he's gonna uh, we just gotta we're just gonna take a quick break and we'll come back with more here on the FCAT, Frontier Community Access Television. Well, Stacy I got to tell you right now, we're going into the fourth quarter, 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. I, I didn't see that callback. Yep, there was a goal that you thought was going to be good, and they ended up saying it was no good by Frontier. Yeah. So it could have been a 2-1 lead for the Red Hawks. But now it's still 1-1. One, one. We're going into the final 15 minutes here. And a very good game between both these right. teams. And, boy, these teams have been battling each other for years. For years. For years. And, and you know, for the – um, I would say more Greenfield has won this Western Mass over Frontier, but it's it's anybody's game tonight. Absolutely, and, and they got a lot to look forward to both teams I'm as a they get biased. ready. Well, of course you are because we want to <laughs> let people know Stacy is not only a local, but she also is a teacher at the school. And by the way, she's gotten some wonderful teachers awards too. A, set, a really prestigious one that she got here within the last year as well. So we're very proud of what she's been able to do for the school, and we appreciate everything she does for the community. And being a fellow field hockey player and coach, we're glad to have you on the broadcast here tonight. <laughs> I'm still wondering how I missed that callback. Yeah, I was just so excited. I know you were. Um, well, it was, a, it was a nice yeah. play, and they just decided that there was something that was the reason why it didn't stand. And, of course, they didn't really give us any details, the, the referees, right. of why. At least, you know, in a football game, they can tell us with the signals of what it is. But we didn't get that tonight. Yeah. So, you know, Greenfield, Greenfield is – look at them go. They're, they – you know, it's, yeah. it's going to be anybody's game. Yeah, they're attacking. And there's been more times than not where – it's been tied, and we've had to have 
sudden victory? Is that what we want to say? Yeah, I like the sudden victory because that's exactly what that game was on the last one yeah. there. Yep, sudden yeah. victory. And, and it went quick, too. It was, a quick, it was a quick goal by the Tech to be able to yeah. take that win. Yeah. So we have a foot on Greenfield. Frontiers doing their self-start. Uh, looks like Haley inserting it. But Greenfield, as fast as we can call it, it, it turns. Right. Possession. Out on Greenfield, here comes Frontier. Some of these girls are getting nice bounces where it's going like 30, 35 yards on some of these hits. Yeah. But that turf, it bounces right off that turf, you yeah. know? If it, yeah, if you, if you hit the ball at a certain angle, you're going you're gonna to give it lift if you yeah. come underneath it. Um, it's really cool because I, I call them bunny hops. They're, mi they're baby scoops. Yeah. But if you, if, you, if you tap it just the right, you can, you can actually, as you're moving forward, if you just tap it just enough, you can bounce it over the defender's uh, stick and keep going on the other side of them. Ah, that's a nice pass to the middle. Then they go to the outside. Good defense right there by Frontier. But it is nerve-wracking. <laughs> it is nerve-wracking. These two teams definitely play good defense, both of them. They both are very good defensive. There's a nice move right up the middle. Oh, good play by Greenfield. Got a nice, that. Strong, nice strong stick on that def by the defender, and boom. So we just had a foot by Frontier. Yeah, another foot by Frontier. Greenfield on the attack. There's a chance if someone's there. Good defense. Oh, they missed the ball on Frontier. Got to get it out of there. That was a good move, getting it out of there. Yeah, sweeping it out to Yeah, they swept it right off to the out-of-bounds. That was a good call. It's almost like a corner now, honestly. It's just a little bit. It's, yeah. it's, it just gets very congested down there. Yeah. So, nice steal by Frontier. Up to Rebecca Wallace-West carrying it up the side. And we're back in the middle. Yep. Back and forth. And back and forth. Looks like it's... Uh, not sure if it's off the stick of Frontier, and it looks like it might be, huh? Greenfield ball. Yeah. So the gentleman that's sitting on the sidelines with the bald head that's been running up and down the field, he's, he's a ref, right? He's an official. He's yeah. an official. Okay. Yeah. He's okay. a sideline official. All right, because, you know, you start wondering, what's this guy doing, you know? <laughs> so he's a yeah. sideline official. In a, in, a, in a regular um, league game, you're not... Two, you only have two refs. That's it. You have one on each side. I, that's why I didn't see that, you know, ever seen that before. All right. So, infraction by Greenfield. And Frontier is going to do the self-start to the outside. Nice pass. Yeah. So they, they got to... Both teams really need to keep it on their stick. Yep. Um, and then we talk about a pass with a purpose. So here, here go, you can Frank, easily here move go. and keep it on your stick without losing it. Um, yeah, last time Frank, we broadcast, yeah, or two, two games ago, we were on the football field. And yes. You could be carrying it, and then it just hits the divot, and then it, you just roll over it. Yeah. So much different when you're on the turf, yeah. you know? So much different. So a lot, of, a lot of times, you know, the, the coaches look to get in some turf time from the end of, end of league to, you know, to the start of their um, Yeah, I know that tournament. a lot of people can take advantage of the Mahar field because Mahar's got the turf over yeah. there. So yeah. if you can get into there to be able to get a practice in, that's a good idea. Yep. Um, Deerfield Academy has been generous to both teams. I'm not quite sure. What? Oh, we got a card. Oh, Greenfield and it's player. coming off. Yep. Don't know what the call is. Is that Mackenzie Pollen? Number three? Yeah. Mackenzie Boswell, no. yep. Uh, yep, Boswell, yep. 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 So she's going to sit over here by the um, table at the 50-yard line. Most likely it's going to be a two-minute. So the person, the, the ref that you were talking about, they're in charge of... Writing it down. I noticed writing he's writing it, it down. Writing yep. it down and when they can go back in. Okay. 
This is why you're here. <laughs> but but it's a great education to be able to to learn some of the game that you don't normally see. Now, that's a nice steal right there Ooh. by Greenfield. It was. And that was a kick. That was a foot. Yep. I see. I'm catching on. That was a foot yep. kick. Yep. yep. When you when you when if you ever have the opportunity um, to either watch field hockey at the college level. Yeah. It's really amazing. Olympic level. And um, Greenfield, three or four Olympic games ago, had a had a player from Greenfield. Yeah. Playing they on did. the and national team. Yeah, and, you know, Tara Jelly uh, over at Stanford. Oh, and another shot, two shoot. Nice save. And, and uh, Kelly Kelly Doton is uh, another player that, you know, those girls were really good back in the day for Greenfield, too, you know. Right. And I was, I was lucky enough when I was traveling in Scotland, I came across um, the Scotland national team yep. practicing when I was in Glasgow. And to watch them practice was holy moly. Really? Wow. Was it very quick? Very quick? It was very quick. Yes. Fast, hard. Um, and it, it was fun because I, I, I was able to talk to one of the players when they came off the field. Yeah. And it was this whole stadium. Like, the whole field was nothing but a field hockey field um, with stadium seating. Awesome. And a cover. And a cover. <laughs> yeah, it's very nice. Well, I imagine they got the cover because of all the rain they get over there, you know? They have to. Yeah. I mean, it'd be wet. Oh, like a lot of the games would be under water for feet. Right. People aren't going to go if they aren't under shelter, yeah. you know? Ooh, nice nice steal by uh, Stella Heflin. It's a nice pass. Got it into the inside. Inside. Another opportunity for Frontier. There's two, three. Oh. They made it. Well, that was a beautiful job. There was like four white jerseys. That four white jerseys right there, Stacy. Yes. Keeping their stick on the ground, getting those rebounds off of the goalie. There must have been three or four shots on goal. I mean, Greenfield goalie was just inundated. Absolutely a great job on being able to just pepper that, yeah. those shots against Ainsley yeah. Flynn from Greenfield. Yeah, they'll call it up. I think it may have been Stella, but Heflin, but I'm not sure. All right, and the, the momentum's back frontier. They're really starting to step things up here again. They didn't call back that one. Nope, that's a legit. That's legit. And... 13 unassisted. Okay, so Rebecca Wallace-West. All right. That's the one you thought got the goal on the last one that got called back. So, hey, she did get her goal on the night for sure. So, nice job right there. I think we need some binoculars. We really do because you know what it is? It's just the way that the lights are coming off the glass here in the yeah, booth. Yeah. Frontier goal scored by number 13, Rebecca Wallace-West. Well, that was a nice aerial. See, that wasn't a dangerous. There was, lot, there was enough room for that ball to land. Yeah. Tell you right now, Frontier, they've really played a really good game here. Yep. Calling it back to where the infraction started. So. Doing a lateral. You know, I've been side. watching a lot of the lateral on both teams, though. You know, Greenfield did the lateral as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Another, another poke there by... Frontier, they end up having their foot. There's a lot of a lot of foot calls in this in this uh, game for sure. I see a lot of the foot calls. Yeah, and it, you know it's it's. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's, it's one of my pet peeves. <laughs> keep your stick on the ground. Right, right. Um, you know, you'll see them. They'll, they'll pick up their sticks to move, but they don't necessarily when they're when they're getting into position have the stick on the ground. Right. <laughs> and you know you you're moving around. Um, it's just, you're looking at only not even four inches of stick. Wow, that's true. That's exactly. It's, you have that it's a little nub. It's a little nub. It's a, it's all it is. It's yeah. a little nub. Yeah. That's why some of the girls, if you've noticed, that some of them that are rushing, they're missing the ball when they're going to try to hit it. Right. So, you know, just like, just like when you're, when, when you're a batter in baseball or softball, right? You gotta, you gotta watch the ball meet the bat. 
you know, in that sweet spot. Yeah, and that's what you got to do when you're getting ready to hit the ball. Yeah. You want to hit that sweet spot. Yeah. So, I mean, you'll, you'll see the... Whoa, that was a sweet spot. Yeah. That was drilled. Yeah, and they'll practice those drives. Yeah. Oh, there's a wide open player right there. There you go. Nobody there. Nice defense. Yep. Was able to capitalize. I mean, we're kind of going back and forth, back and forth. No, yeah, well, this is a big moment here. We only got less than five minutes left in this game, and Frontier with that big goal take that lead, and they're still peppering yes. in the Greenfield end yeah, here. Yeah, we got a foot on Greenfield. Oh. They're going to start it back with the infraction. So Madison McKemmy's the uh, left side midfielder passing it through. Now, when you're below the 25, you yep. have to carry the ball five yards before you can pass it. Oh, okay. Or you can do a lateral back. Oh, that's good. And then move it forward. So there's, you know, kind of like in soccer when you're trying to figure out when it's offsides. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Because, boy, you know, I, I watched my nephew play for Greenfield this year, and there were times where I thought it was a perfect opportunity to get the ball, and they called off sides because it was, yep. Yeah. So Another shot. nice kick save right there by Greenfield. And Ainsley Flynn, she kicked it out. But Frontier, they have really been able to pepper that area of Greenfield. But Greenfield's going to have to find something because there's not much time left here, under four minutes. they got to find a way to punch one in if they want to be able to continue to be able to have a chance at this championship. Frontier really started to dominate most of this game, and I think that they played really well at being able to find opportunities, like four people sitting by the net. That makes it easier for you to score when you got four opportunities. Yeah. Well, now the clock's running here. We're almost at three minutes already here, yeah. Stacy. So yeah. Greenfield does have an opportunity here at the side, but... Still a lot of defense right here by Frontier. What do you got? Kick? Kick on Greenfield? Oh, it's front, uh, it is Frontier, okay. It's Greenfield ball. Oh. So, infraction by Frontier. Now, yeah! um, so I think they called, he held his hand up with five. So yeah. Probably didn't, she, she tried to go back and then swing around and. Didn't get her five yards I before yeah. she hit the ball. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Nice play right there by Greenfield. Yeah, got a good stick on it. Oh, that was a little Kacklemeyer. Oh, corner for Greenfield. Oh, boy, that's a big opportunity right now with two and a half minutes left here in the game. Frontier with the 2-1 lead. This is wasting a lot of time. Take, yeah. Take this with getting the setup. Oh, the setup is definitely wasting a lot but, of time. But, you know, you want to make sure that you are going to execute. Exactly. Now's your chance. So they're going to the top, pass it off to the right. Doing and Frontier was able to break it up. Hey, if they could hit it down the other end of the field and be able to just waste some time, it's going to make it easier. Hack on Frontier, so it is a greenfield ball. I mean, Greenfield Greenfield wants it. Oh, They're yeah. They're not giving up. They are fighting tooth and nail. 130 left here in the game. So they're working the, starting the ball where the infraction happens. What do we got? Didn't carry it five yards. Ah, see, that was a five-yard. And, boy, coach, coach there was shaking her head on that one. Yeah. This is, they're, they're tired, they, the adrenaline is pumping, you got a minute left, mental mistake. Yeah. So let's see what uh, Frontier's gonna do in order to try and move that ball away from Greenfield, nice defense. Yeah. Still Frontier ball though, Greenfield touched it with the wrong, with the foot. And we're down to 45 seconds left here in the game. Greenfield is in their 
is in frontier territory, but there's not much time left here. So frontier infraction. Greenfield is, is trying to get it in the circle. Still. We're right in the circle. Oh, yeah, and there's a lot of, lot of action going on in there. Foot on Greenfield. Frontier gets to start the ball. That's a big, big one right there for Frontier. They could take their time and just let that clock run. Greenfield's back on the attack. Ball's like, it's just like back and forth, back and forth. Frontier foot, Greenfield ball. Looks we got like we got a Frontier seconds. champion right now. Uh, not till that buzzer goes off. There we go. There you have it, Frontier, your Class C Western Mass champions with a 2-1 win. So that's exciting. It's been a, it's been a long, long uh, wait to bring that, that trophy back. Well, I just want to say, Tom took a break from us after the first half, and he ended up working with the Ekman, doing some camera work. Thank you so much, Stacy Chapley. This was such great. a pleasure to have you come in the booth and share your knowledge with us here on this championship day. So when you go to school tomorrow, it's going to be a happy be Tuesday. Yeah. It's going to be a happy Tuesday yep. as your team not only picks up the Western Mass Championship, but also it's going to bring them up a little bit more in the seating, which will hopefully give them a chance to have a home game or two during the Massachusetts yeah, State with Tournament. The, with the, way the way they've really done the, the tournament, I have no idea. Nobody Where does. Absolutely nobody it. does, so don't feel bad. So, <laughs> But on behalf of our wonderful man, Alex Eck, and also Tom Alber, Stacy Chapley, I'm Bobby C. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, they'll have the camera. They'll be able to show you the big hoist of that big championship for the Lady Red Hawks. Congratulations to Coach Missy Mahar and her team, and also a congratulations to a great season that's not over for Greenfield as well. They may have lost this battle, but they still have a state championship that they could still fight for. And look at the hug between the two coaches yeah. right there. Says it all between Missy Mahar and Coach Aaron Thayer. Love it. Great job, ladies. It was a wonderful game to enjoy tonight. And once again, the championship trophy goes to Frontier. From all of us here at Frontier Community Access Television, we want to wish you a wonderful night, and thank you for joining us for this championship game. Pioneer Valley Financial for their support throughout our Western Mass Tournament and for providing our championship trophies. <laughs> Mel Martin will now present the awards to each team. First, we will honor Greenfield High School with the Class C Western Mass Finalist Trophy for the 2022 season. Will the captains come forward to receive their team trophy? Next, we will honor Frontier Regional with the Class C Western Mass Champion Trophy for the 2022 season. Yeah!